2008 rolls around, Coach. You guys are still under the old format. You still have individual national champions, and you had a, a dual national champion in the same year, Kristen Terabisi, won it on the flat and in the fences, the finest rider in the nation in both disciplines. What does Kristen mean to your program? Well, Kristen, the funny thing is Kristen still means a lot to our program. She still has her, you know, is always sending me texts, is always calling, saying, how you doing, coach? Um, her, her parents live um, 10 minutes from a venue that I go recruiting every year. And um, so I, I keep up with them, the Terabisis, all the time. Um, Kristen's dad was a, a legacy. I mean, Kristen's a legacy. Her dad played golf here. Um, so it's it, – it, and I still remember when I saw Kristen for the first time, it was a recruiting um, venue in Florida where they just – they offered a competition for um, coaches to come in and recruit, and the riders went out and competed. And I remember Kristen being there. I remember her dad introducing himself and us talking briefly. And at that point, she was very competitive as a rider, but she was also a swimmer as well. And um, so, uh, you know, at that point when her dad was saying that he had gone to school and he was going to do everything in his power to get her to come to South Carolina, that w made me a happy camper because um, she was uh, extremely into, and, you know, she doesn't ride uh, as much anymore, but um, has stayed in the horse industry a good bit, um, working with um, photographers and doing a lot of stuff with um, media. Um, but... If for her, when she came in, knowing how she was almost too intense when she came in and, um, you know, she was one of those that wanted everything to be perfect and really strive for everything to be perfect. And she was one of those that could get that accomplished. So um, for her, she was part of the um, 2005 and seven, right? Definitely was a part of yeah. a multiple uh, yeah. uh, national. I don't. She wasn't part of 2005. Mm -hmm. I take that back. Um, she was part of the 2007 championship team, and um, I think that she had a great. Um, she also had a great influence on the team, mostly for her work ethic. Because she was going to go out there and she was going to get the job done. And um, I think that helped a lot of folks on the team to to say, oh well, if I work that hard and I am that you know, intense, and I really am going to go out there and p give it my all, then I'm going to be a winner as well. And um, so for her to go and compete um, a as an individual, and and w they had the individual Huntsy champion and individual Western champion, and uh, she was lights out. I, I think there was no question that she was going to win the whole thing. And, um, you know, sometimes as a, a coach, you get very nervous when someone goes in the ring that you think, okay, you know, they're either going to do it or they're not. And she was one of those, Tara Brothers was one of those. She was one of those that didn't, I, I knew she was going to go in and she was going to, um, she was going to win or die trying. And um, so she was never happy with second ever, um, was never happy if she lost a point. Um, so it, it, it was that kind of very competitive mentality that really helped her to be successful. Um, but frankly, you know, that weekend was, um, for her, I think, was a, it was certainly a highlight for us for her to have won both. And um, I'm not sure. I think it was, it's been repeated once maybe, but then they've done away with the individual championships. Right. But that's a very difficult feat to go in and win the flat and the fences as an individual. So, um, um, kudos to her. She earned every bit of that and um, just really what d made huge contributions to our program and, again, was someone who helped us um, continue to get better. Um, you just look at all these folks that we talk about and, and, and you realize that they're the ones who are influence. You may, as a coach, influence the team, but these are the ones that are really laying the groundwork for how your team is going to turn out in the end.